This is a video in the Ask Patrick series. Question by Robson Tan. The question is, I can solve two sets in DILR in the first 20-25 minutes. But then I get stuck in the third set. I'm not able to solve more number of questions. Okay, what should I do? So two sets, 20-25 minutes. Technically, in the third, you should be able to, remaining time, you should be able to finish one more set. It's technically, that should be there. But what happens, and that is common again with a lot of students, is that when the time is less, Okay, the pressure builds up. And when the pressure builds up, people don't know what to do. So you need to have a very clear strategy in the last whatever time is there. What do you need to do? And that should be there before. So if you're stuck on a particular set, you think, oh, I don't have enough time for the remaining questions. So should I leave a set or should I keep solving it? So people say that, let me keep solving it. But that may be a bad idea because getting stuck on a difficult set may not be very good. So what is important is you need to have a clear mindset. So what I would suggest is that when you're going to the set, you should have a very clear mindset that, okay, these are the first set, I'll solve second, third, fourth. So by the time you finish two sets, you should have a very clear set of which the next set will go and with the fourth set will go. The third, fourth should be there in your mind already. So try the third set, okay? If you don't get it, if you feel you're stuck, please leave it. I mean, you can maximum go to the question, see whatever answers you can get because you've read it. Okay, because you're not able to come back to it afterwards. So go to the questions and try to mark whatever you can get. And then go to fourth set. And then try to solve. Instead of getting stuck on a third set, not able to get at all. So basically you finish the paper, two sets in 25 minutes. Try the third set. Within three, four minutes, we'll come to know whether it is tough or easy. So maybe maximum five minutes. So look at the question mark, whatever possible, guess it. And go to the fourth set. You still have 10 minutes more to the last set. If you can crack it, you will do it. I mean, I think that is a very clear mentality. But you may have a very different plan, but that's perfectly all right. But a plan has to be clear. That's what is important. You cannot get confused with a plan. The strategy has to be clear. The moment you're clear with the strategy, the stress will be less. You will know what to do in the examination and you will go about planning. But something new comes up in the last 15 minutes. Take a break, take a 10 second break and think in the last 15 minutes, how to should I maximize my whole attempt or 10 or 15 minutes? How should I go about to maximize? Should I continue solving this set? Should I solve one more set? Think about it and then work on it. Never get confused, stressed as far as the examination is concerned. Be very clear. If you get stressed, take that small five, set, 10 seconds gap and replan your paper. Very important. Hope that helps. Thank you.